What's up, for gamers? Welcome back to a new video. For today's video, I'll be reacting to another Lost Like Hate video. I mean, hate is a strong word, but it's more of a criticism about the game. Since the last video that I posted about uh, another uh, Lost Light criticism or hate video did so well. Today we're gonna be reacting to Big Fry TV. Big Fry TV is a verified YouTube partner. Uh, mostly his uh, content is focused on FPS games. So I think he's a very good authority in terms of uh, reviews in terms of FPS games. So I have nothing but respect for uh, Sir Big Fry TV. This is just me trying to give my own take of my own opinion. So yeah. Okay, here we go. You saw the title of the video and you're probably wondering to yourself, what is Lost Light? Lost Light is a brand new game that just hit Steam Early Access, but it was originally on mobile. And a lot of people around my community are talking about it. I've actually been hit up multiple times in the past kind of leading up to this launch. People wondering if this is a game that I was going to talk about. It's like Escape from Tarkov had a baby with Ring of Elysium and PUBG Mobile and they all just kind of came together to create this. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. That was a very good mix and mash of games. You could either scavenge for supplies or go out with guns blazing and plunder. Survive the brutal domain where danger lurks in every corner. And the basic setup is very similar to the likes of Escape from Tarkov. I have one concern though. Like these, I mean, not, not just for Lost Light. Most games, like how, why are these like, why are these trailers so awesome to look at? Like, I mean, this is just a criticism in general for all games that I've seen or most of the games that we see. The trailers are always so good, but the gameplay is not, isn't the same. <laughs> why is it like that, though? Can, can anybody, like, give me an idea of why that is in the comments? <laughs> let me know, let me know. I mean, I have a general idea of it. Like, maybe it's just a production thing for promotion. But if you can do this in a promotional capacity, why not do it in the game, yeah? Very, very similar to Escape from Tarkov, but with a Chinese mobile twist. And that twist is you are basically being asked every 20 minutes or so to buy something every time you come back on. Damn. That's one thing I cannot deny. Lost Light, I mean, Na'is in general, they've always been notorious for like asking for money. Like, like they, they present to you the gaming experience on a silver platter like this. This game is awesome. This game is good. The first game that I can think of uh, that really abused the, the asking for microtransactions or for the asking for the for money. I think the best example was Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immoral. Because it's so immoral that they will consistently ask you for money if you want to like level up your character. And it's the same format here. Like with Lost Light. When Lost Light was beginning, I was very happy with, with the way it was. I understand that the developers need to make money. I mean, if the game is free to play, they have to make some kind of a plan or decision to make money so that the game can continue to live or be relevant in the gaming scene, especially in mobile. They're going to pester you to buy something. Buy this, buy this, buy this, even though you don't really need it. Unless you want it, though. It's, it's everybody's preference. If you want to buy skins... It's fine. As long as you have the money, why not? But if you can use the money for something better, like buy, buy a new pair of shoes, buy a better game, you know, save it for something else. Starts you off in about, I would say, an hour and a half to two hour hand-holding tutorial as if you were literally playing this game on an iPhone. And if you have played mobile games, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The thing where it tells you to click this button and there's a big highlight, so you click it. Then it tells you over here and then you click it. And then it goes over here and, it cl and, and you click it. If I could share an experience of mine with this game specifically, there was one stream that I did that I played on mobile. And apparently the tutorial reruns if you play on a different device, even if it, even if your level is higher already, or if you haven't gone through a specific portion of the game. When I uh, got injured, I think when you first get shot on the leg, you will get a prompt about healing. It's so hard to get that tutorial message because that's the only time you're going to get that message when you get shot. When I was playing on my phone, uh, I ran into a real player and we got into a fight. I had the chance of winning, but I was injured. 
as soon as I tried to shoot the guy, he shot me first on the leg once because he had a shotgun. And that prompt showed up. So when that prompt shows up, the rest of your controls don't work. So you have to like close the message or the dialogue box first before you can do anything else. So I was trying to spam my fire button because I was already aiming at the at the guy or the the enemy and I could not like no bullets were coming out. I was so angry and I died <laughs> because of a tutorial. So thank you Lost Light. <laughs> we're talking like less than insurgency sandstorm level player base here. Granted, you can play crossplay with mobile players, and I think that also leads to really boring engagements because when you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, you fucking destroy players. I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of you hate the crossplay feature of this game, but they have doubled down on it. They're sticking to it. PC players will cross over with mobile players. Myself personally, I don't like it because I, I'd like a challenge, of course, but I also appreciate if I could just own my enemy. But to, not to the extent that my, I know my enemy is at, at a disadvantage and I'm taking advantage of it. So I feel like it's so wrong. One outcry of the community is to like separate the servers for that. If you're on, on a PC, just play on PC. And I mean, if your lobbies will be PC. If you're on mobile, you'll be on mobile. I'm playing Tarkov and I feel like the learning curve and the amount of time that you have to put into Tarkov to even get a good experience. And I think everybody who plays Tarkov understands you need to put the fucking time in. Whereas with this game, I have so much loot that it was super easy to reach over a million dollars within my first like two hours of playing. Whenever I started playing this game, if I mean, if you guys are in the Lost Light Discord, you would see now and then like people flexing about their loot value, like 5 million, 10 million, 20 million. But if you look at it, like 5 to 10 people are sending the same values or in that range. So that, I think that goes to show that the game's kind of easy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this because I'm just a PC. I'm a PC player. The game is relatively easy. Even if I'm if if I put my time on mobile, I think I can still achieve that same like high loot value. Like even I mean, listen to Big Fry. I mean, he just played for a couple of hours and he already has a lot of loot. His storage is already full. I think we're being spoon fed too much in this game. <laughs> To have BAF Factory, which if that's not ripped straight from Escape from Tarkov, but watered down and really, really trash like. I mean, in in Lost Lights defense, I think they said that BAF Factory is inspired. That's the that's the keyword inspired by EFT. If you guys didn't know, if you're in the Discord, and you try to type in Escape from Tarkov, it will get deleted. That name is not allowed. They base the game from EFT, but they refuse to acknowledge EFT. <laughs> Why the fuck do you even want to play this? So that's the question. <laughs> to be honest, I, I like the game. I'm not saying it's the best for me. I mean, there are tons of games that I'd rather play aside from Lost Light. But I did find a bit of joy in Lost Light. I'm more of a casual player. That's why, if, if you guys remember, I discussed earlier, like, they're catering this game for more ca to, for, for a casual play. But it does have a, a hardcore style of a gameplay if you want to rank up and stuff. I embrace the casual gameplay. I like the gameplay because, uh, first of all, I can relate with my viewers whenever I stream or upload videos. We have something similar to talk about. I can also help them out because I've pra practically... No, I'm not saying I mastered the game, but the learning curve for this game is not really that high. I love that feeling to be able to help people or to like uh, converse with them in through comments or chats. So yeah, it's just a perfect fit for me right now. I'm not going to play this game forever. You know, sometime in the future, I might take the leap to something better wherever it takes us. You know, I will always appreciate the community members who are always watching whatever game I play. You know, thank you so much. But as of now, we're, st we're staying here. We're staying here, guys. Don't worry. That was Big Fry TV. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'll put a link on the description down below. After watching this video, like, it kind of rubbed off on me. Like, his takes were really good. I think, yes, the game is bad. <laughs> it, But it can be better. Every game can be better. Every game has, can still be saved. Lost Light has time to save themselves from becoming rose of survival 3.0 <laughs> currently i'm not liking where lost light is headed but never say never i re I, i'm still hoping for the best i want still want to stay positive you know this is currently for for net in my opinion this is currently their best game no doubt 
This is their best game. It's already outshined Badlanders. Hey, you can hate me about, but it's already it already has outshined Badlanders. But Lost Light is still, it still needs a lot of work. So if you have your own thoughts, guys, like comment down below. Let me know. Let's let's start a discussion about this game again. We always we're always gonna talk about this game as long as it's still here. Like, like let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like if you agree with Big Fry TV, let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know in the comments. Like the video, dislike whatever and if you haven't subscribed yet like subscribe today subscribe today be part of the 4g fam for for gamer family you know and let's let's join together as a community let's play games together thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next one